What is your name? <laughs> My name is Crystal Fagan. I'm the curator of education programs here at the Art Museum of Southeast Texas. It's a pleasure to meet you. My nice name is Andy, yeah. My name is Andy Gordon. I'm the curator curator of education outreach here at the Art Museum of Southeast Texas. So, what is it that you do day to day for your job? Whatever she tells me to do. <laughs> but but now, typically here at the museum, I'm the curator of education outreach. I'm in charge of like the art to go programs and the art after school program. And you know, we have 14 other programs, and Crystal leads some of those programs, and then we kind of join and maintain other programs. But on a day to day basis, we're scheduling tours, uh, uh, scheduling after school programming, um, and so forth. Uh, great. Yeah, I, I typically am the primary facilitator of the Odom Junior Docent Program, Summer Art Ventures, and um, the in-house exhibition and competition portion of Protégé. Uh, Andy handles travel, right. um, so when our, uh, the exhibition travels from place to place, he typically handles the scheduling of that and right. the logistics that come with moving that show five times. What is your favorite part about your job? Working with Crystal. Uh, it is so great to sometimes, you know, I always tell people, you know, when you've been somewhere, I've been here 28 years. Crystal, how many years now? I've been here eight years now. Yeah, and we've worked together eight years. It's so good to work with someone that, that makes your job fun and inspires you to be better at it. Uh, because when that happens, then the programs that we present to the public are that much better, whether that's art at the go, whether that's art after school, whether that's family arts day, tours, tours. Yeah, we collaborate on 14 different programs, and those programs range from kindergarten all the way up to adult. So having someone that you can work with really nicely helps create a better environment, a better program for the general public here. And I think our backgrounds also, they're somewhat similar, but they're also somewhat yeah. different. So I think um, Andy's been here 28 years, so his experience has. Uh, been invaluable in my transition here to the museum. I mean, between him and Sandy Lorette, the previous curator of education, who was, I consider, a mentor along with Andy, because um, uh, I'm not only new to the museum, but I'm new to the area. So um, both of them have been instrumental in allowing me to get to know the Southeast Texas arts community in general. Yeah, and from that, what, what we do is we create these strong programs. Uh, uh, when you when you work in an area that we do, and it's so diverse, having uh, someone with difference of opinion and di different educational background, Crystal had brought in such new ideas, and and been we were able, we were able to incorporate that into the program. And, and her education experience is like second to none. So. Well, uh, the, the programs here were already so strong. I think that I was able to kind of put a little small stamp on it, do things a little differently, but the foundation was so solid, I, I couldn't fail, really. What is your favorite thing about working for the Art Museum of Southeast Texas? I think our position here is the best thing about the Art Museum of right. Southeast Texas. So, I mean, getting to interact with schools, teachers, educators, students, children, um, we get to share what the museum does. Um, when you watch other staff interviews, you're going to see what the museum does, but what we do is we introduce all of those things to the children of our community and hoping that that will turn into other adult art lovers, you know, so that, so I think yeah. that we get to spread seeds and introduce people to the museum, so I think that's a fantastic job in and of itself. It's starting to and you know, I started working here, I think I was 23 years old, 22, and uh, I was always the young guy. And uh, you know, when you stay with someone long enough, you become the old guy, right? And so I think the fun thing for me is, Crystal can tell you, I, I, when, I, when I'm out and about, I typically run into kids that are not adults that I once came through here in some form of a class or a fashion through some program. Um, and I've actually had second generations where I've had uh, children of former students come in. Uh, just feeling like you can make a difference in the community is the thing here. I think the museum has done an outstanding job of becoming a reflection of the community, uh, especially uh, racially, uh, culturally. I think we make a conscientious effort to reflect the diverse community in which we serve. And well, that's our goal. Yeah, our goal yeah. is to try to um, have all of our education programs an exact reflection of the, the, the Southeast Texas community, but with an emphasis on Beaumont. Right. And being a part of that is my, it's my funnest part of being here at the museum. That's, 
being feeling like you are part of something that's bigger than yourself that's going to outlive you and you somewhat made a difference in your community. Do either of you have a favorite exhibition that has been here at the Art Museum of Southeast Texas? Mm. I love group shows. As difficult and laborious as they are for the exhibition team and when they're <laughs> traveling all over all right. Texas, but I think his spouse was probably my favorite exhibition since I've been here. Now, Andy's been here 28 years, yeah, it is. so it's hard from to pick one from eight years. But <laughs> I can't I, pick one. There's so many to stand out. We had a uh, a show where we had an 18 hole golf course and each individual hole was designed by a different artists. So each one had its own personality. So again, group exhibitions, <laughs> group exhibitions. the ones that are easy for us and really yeah. hard for And I think but children I, also really like group mm -hmm. exhibitions mm -hmm. because you know what uh, one flavor ice cream isn't necessarily the favorite of every, every mm -hmm. student. So I think when you have work by multiple people, um, it allows us when we have large groups of people to inter like, um, for connections to be built, so those are quite easy for us. Yeah. In the Del Chihuly show, when you know we were the first museum in the state of Texas to exhibit his artwork, and that show was just amazing uh, to see those glass pieces in the gallery. We, we, you know, I still remember people would just come in and just sit in the middle of the gallery because of the way the show was lit, and they would feel like they're under the ocean. So there's been several shows, so many talented people here. It's hard to pick one. What do you hope that your students take away from the programs here at the Art Museum of Southeast Texas? I hope that they find something that they connect to. Uh, you, know, you know, I always say that you never know what your passion is until you're introduced to it. So I hope that the students here, and, and we have that, you know, we've had students here uh, that have become doctors to still make art. Uh, you know, we have students that have come to this program that actually now work here at the museum. So just being a part of someone's mental and physical growth in the love and then become advocates of art, I think that's the most thing. When you see someone and you feel a part that you pass that passion on. Well, those are usually for multi-visit programs. Mm -hmm. We have a chance to make a connection. But if you're speaking just of like maybe one day uh, programs like a tour coming in. Um, I think that generally we have succeeded when five or six years later um, a child comes back to us in a different program and is able to tell us what exhibition was up and describe the work and remember what they made here because right. we had them for all of an hour and they have remembered what they learned and I think the fact that they came, they remembered and right. had fun Absolutely. and when you have 50 minutes, roughly 50 yeah. minutes um, like that, that just that it, it, we made an impression. There's a stamp there in their memory that they remember the art museum and that it is a fun place. Right. So it makes you feel part of something bigger than yourself, and I think so. And and that's great. Like I said, I, you know that's what the museum is. The, the museum is a bridge between the exhibition and the community. And education is the is the middle. We bring all that together. You know, when the community comes in, our job is to get them to understand the exhibition, to help them relate to the exhibition. And I think, uh, you know, it's, it's just, it's fun. And most importantly, you know, I enjoy it. You get to make art every day. You get to talk about art every day. And I love to talk, so that makes it really fun. And I don't know, like, for how many people <laughs> um, watching this that don't know exactly we, what we do here um, at the art museum, but um, Andy and I see between 16 and 18,000 K through 12 children every year um, in free programming. Um, we have Art Ventures, which is our only paid programming at summer camps, but um, that's about 200 students, mm -hmm. so it's around 1% of the people we see come in something that they've paid for. Well, and that's just, I always tell the community, there's so many programs here at the museum. I think, you know, um, with the isolation that we're currently going through, people are going to get to learn about us probably even more than they know now. I think the weird thing is the children know about us, the, 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 especially in BISD and the surrounding area. They know what we do. I think sometimes parents don't, but like Crystal said, we put it in perspective, probably 90% of our educational programs are free. I would, like I said, it's less than 1%, so yeah. 90, 98, 98 and a half, 98 right. and a half percent come here with, and right. pay nothing. And the interesting thing is that I think the general public doesn't know that we're open seven days a week. We're the most open museum in the state of Texas. And uh, there's an a iPad lab that's always available with art games on them. There's just tons of things. So as an education department, we just try to continue the legacy that people built before us, and we've added on to that. 
And it's really fun, though. Guys, I am telling you, it is fun. If you... I think we have the funnest job here. I do, too. I, I think do. we do. I yeah. mean, uh, if you've watched our videos, like you say, we get messy. Yeah. We, you know, we get to do all of these things. We get to actually, I know how many people go in a gallery and, like, inspired to create art. Well, that's kind of our job. We kind of have to. So we have to go in yeah. and see something and learn something from it and develop hands-on art activities from, like, the wonderful exhibitions that are here. Oh, we yeah. actually get to... Um, as part of our job, we get paid to gain inspiration from what's in the gallery, <laughs> and, then the artists, them, yeah, 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 and then pass yeah, and then pass that on to children. So right. that's, it's a great, it's a great position to have. Do you have any advice for aspiring art educators, or perhaps someone who would like to work at an art museum? Volunteer, volunteer, and listen, we love to have you at this museum. But there are museums. Uh, Boma has a lot of museums. And if you're an aspiring to be an artist or to be an art educator, you want to surround yourself in that environment. And the key thing about that environment, if you came here, there's more than one department. You know, you, you got to think about the museum in the, in, the, in the sense that there's more than education here. There's exhibition, there's accountants, there's PR people. So if you want to be in a museum environment, you need to find out what actually takes place in a museum environment. And the best way to do that is through volunteering because you can get experience we love experience. our volunteers we yeah. love our volunteers we couldn't well, that, do the education department could not do it's just us two our 14 programs sixteen thousand kids volunteers are essential to the museum so that's my advice and if you make art continue to do it every day for the parents here's my advice if you got a young artist at your home push them encourage them and give them the tools to become better artists are like plants if you stop giving them water, they'll stop growing. So you have to give them the tools to become better. So please, if you got a young talent in artist, give them the tools. Buy them an art set. Put them on art. Get them, get them a sketchbook. Give them an outlet to continue to be creative. 